ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. Today we're checking out the MSI X470 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard, and let's jump right into it with the key features. So of course this is going to support all your AM4 Ryzen CPUs, including the new Ryzen 2 CPUs. It supports dual channel DDR4 memory, up to 64 gigabytes of it, and up to and exceeding 3466 megahertz, which is absolutely crazy. It has SLI and Crossfire support, although it goes down to by 8 but that's still plenty of bandwidth there. Uh, RGB lighting on three parts of the motherboard, one part being the back, interestingly enough, but, you know, I don't really care much for RGB, but hey, you might like it. And the ALC1220 codec with separated audio layers and Chemicon audio capacitors, which give you really good onboard audio. So let's look at the layout then, and we'll work from top to bottom. So in the top left there, you have the twin 8-pin CPU power connectors, which is super duper overkill for a mainstream motherboard. Uh, seriously, unless you're going for an overclocking record, you can get away with just one just fine. Now it's also coming with a 13-phase power design with big heat sinks on top, so this was really good to see. Your standard CPU fan connector, but no CPU optional connector, which is an interesting choice to take that away. Steel reinforced RAM slots, which I've become a big fan of in recent times. A system management bus connector beside a Corsair LED connector. Your standard pump fan header and system fan header, as well as an easy debug readout. Not the full one, but the more basic, you know, old school light type one. Motherboard power connector beside another fan header. And then if we head towards the middle of the motherboard, we see an SPI connector, if you manage to somehow kill your BIOS, beside another fan header. Then we get three full-length PCIe slots. The two steel reinforced ones are by 16 and by 8. The bottom one is by 4. Then just two PCIe times 1 slots and two PCIe times 4 M.2 slots. The top one has a heat sink. Now on the Bottom right, we have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 header beside six SATA 6 ports. And then on the bottom there, we have an RGB header, uh, sort of like a case beeper and your front panel headers. Two more SATA ports beside them with another USB 3.1 Gen 1 header. Two USB 2.0 headers beside a chassis intrusion header and another LED header. And then you get your final fan connector, a TPM connector, another RGB connector, and your front panel audio header. So let's go around to the back and check out the I.O. And we'll work from left to right. So we see a PS2 connector above two USB 2.0 ports, full-size display port, and HDMI port. So that'll be good if you're planning on using this motherboard with an APU. The antenna connectors, if you want to use the onboard Wi-Fi, note that the non-AC model will not have this, but that's about the only difference between the two models as far as I know. A clear CMOS button beside four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, an RJ45 Ethernet jack above a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A and Type-C ports, and then all your standard audio connections, which are gold-plated, which is another good thing to see. Now let's talk about the BIOS. So the BIOS itself is very easy to use and I really like it, although more newer users might find it a little di a little bit difficult to use, although enthusiasts like me uh, really enjoy it. MSI had quite a few BIOS issues with X370, but so far with X470, it's been just fine. There's only the launch BIOS available right now as of making this video, but it's stable and I haven't had any issues at all. And overclocking the Ryzen 5 2600 with it has been an absolute joy. So I do really like their BIOS. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and what do I make of the MSI X470 Gaming Pro Carbon AC? So currently, right now, on pricebuy.co.nz, the price seems to be around 380 New Zealand dollars. So above average for an X470 currently. Pricebuy also has an app that I have on my phone, which is really good for when I go out. It's very useful and it's really easy to use. So I'd encourage you guys to check it out if you haven't already. So I really like the MSI X470 Gaming Pro Carbon. It's a great all-rounder motherboard. Although I think you need to be a bit more of an enthusiast to really take advantage of a lot of the features because there are a lot with this motherboard. It has a really good layout and I will be making it my main motherboard for my second system which is an AMD based system. So I really enjoyed using it and it will be my main motherboard I use going forward. 
But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of it? And is this a motherboard you're interested in getting? And what are your reasons for looking into it? I'd really like to know. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.